Okay, so the marginal cost in dollars per unit is given by C prime of X equals 12 X cubed plus 21 X squared plus 10 X plus 100. If it costs $150 to make the first unit, how much does it cost to make the first two units? Obviously, the answer is not $300. It's not just two times 150. Okay, so again, I'm going to give you a few minutes to work on this yourself, right? Um, if you're not exactly sure how to start this, right, think back that this is from section 5.1. That's anti derivatives and initial value problems. And you can actually look back in your notes, you know, during this time to just kind of remind yourself, refresh yourself how you would solve this. So I'm going to give you, let's say, four minutes to solve this. And then we're going to take a poll about what the final answer actually is, right? And remember, the final answer has to be a number, right? The, the question is asking, how much do the first two units cost? So I want a number. Four minutes.
Okay, so as you finish up, um, let's get some actual final answers in the chat, and we'll put that on a poll and see what other people got. Your final answer should just be a number. We've got 359, that's one candidate. Does anyone else want to be brave and give their candidate? We got 365. Anyone else want to give uh, a candidate answer? Not. We can open up uh, 324. Okay, so three should be enough because then I can put some other choices there. Okay, so I'm going to put these uh, choices. Just let's see where we are. Let's do. And we'll also have uh, not sure and I disagree um, with all of these choices, right? You got something else. Okay, so a lot of not sures came up very quickly. A lot of people were very quick to hit the not sure button. Okay, so where we are right now, we have 8%, 8%, 4%, and 0%. So it looks like a lot of students who are just not sure generally how to do the problem. Okay, so let's do this uh, slowly then. So keep in mind, let's first identify what is the problem actually asking us to find. Let's assume that we just kind of have everything we need. It's like, what are they asking us to find symbolically? The question is, how much does it cost to make the first two units? Can someone give me a symbolic expression that would answer that question? How much does it cost to make the first two units? Okay, so Brandon said uh, C of 2 minus C of 1, and Emily said C of 2. So which do you think is correct? So what can you actually say here? So C of 2, what does this mean? So Samir says that you think Emily is correct. So that's, um, that's actually correct. So C of 2 is the correct answer. This means total cost of 2 units. And Samir says, because it's asking for the first two units, not the cost of the second. You said price, but I think you mean cost. That's correct. So I was actually just about to ask, um, you know, what does actually C of 2 minus C of 1 mean? So this means total cost of the first two units, right? You can think of it like two things minus the cost of the first units. So when you subtract them, you get just the cost of that second unit. Right. But the question is not asking you for the cost of the second unit. The question is asking you for the total cost of both the first and the second unit together. OK. So we want to solve. Let's actually phrase this in the proper way. So we have the following. That was a good mistake to make because actually um, I was going to bring it up anyway, and I'm sure some other students made that mistake. So it's good. OK, so we have now determined from this problem that the thing I want, I want to get C of 2. All right, so that is our ultimate goal. Now, what information has been given to us in this problem? Right, remember, this is our goal. So now let's figure out what do we have that gets us there? OK, so we're given the marginal cost. Or in other words, we're given the fact that the derivative of the cost is this function. And we're given one other piece of information. And you're given C of 1, right? It says if it costs $150 to make the first unit. In other words, that is actually telling us that C of 1 is equal to 150.
So this is actually an initial value problem, right? You're given the derivative of a function and one point on that function, and you want to then find some other thing about that function, right? So maybe some other point, right? But these two pieces together, you can reconstruct the entire function, right? This is an antiderivative or initial value problem. Okay, so let's first find, so what do we do? We first take the antiderivative of the given function, right, to get back the cost. So the cost function is the antiderivative of this thing. All right, so now we take the antiderivative of each term separately. So keep in mind how we actually do that, right? The 12 comes along for the ride, and then we get x to the 4 over 4, then plus 21 x cubed over 3, plus 10 x squared over 2, then plus 100, we can say x. And then we need some constants of integration, right? Normally I'd write plus c here, but I don't want to confuse this c with that c, so I'm going to use a different letter. I'm going to use um, k. Now usually k actually also means capital in economics, so maybe you even shouldn't use k, but whatever, we'll use k. Okay, and simplifying this just a little bit, this gives us 3x to the 4 plus 7x cubed plus 5x squared plus 100x plus k. So that is our cost function. But the thing is, I don't know what the k is, right? So now let's actually find out what k is by using the second piece of information. Okay, so if I plug in x equals 1 into my cost function, um, I get 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 100 plus k, and that is supposed to be equal to 150. So solving this for k, I just get k equals uh, fifth, uh, 35. That's just a little bit of simple arithmetic there. So now I have my cost function. My total cost function is 3x to the 4 plus 7x cubed plus 5x squared plus 100x plus 35. And now I can just substitute x equals 2 to get what I want. Remember, what I want is C of 2, the total cost of the first two units. I get C of 2, so I get 3 times 16 plus 7 times 8 plus 5 times 4 plus 100 times 2 plus 35. And we do this arithmetic, and we get 359. All right, so I think everything is on the screen. So any questions about any part of this problem, especially to those who said they weren't sure, right? A little more than half of those um, who responded to the poll actually said um, they weren't sure what to do or they weren't sure.